simply supported beam meter long is located with a uniformly distributed load of 10 kN per meter over a length of 2 meter as shown in figure. Full stop. Draw shear force and bending moment diagram for the beam indicating the value of maximum bending. Okay. So this one it is simply supported beam at A and B and UDL load it is C to D portion up to the 2 meter. Okay. The 2 meter, 2 meter portion it will be acted UDL loading. Okay. From 1 meter. UDL it is started from the from 1 meter from the support key. Okay. First of all, we need to some assumption. Okay. If the moment it is clockwise, we will take it is positive value. Okay. Moment it is clockwise, we take positive value. If moment it is anti-clockwise, then we will take it is negative value. Then okay. negative value. If the force it is upward direction, then it will be take positive value. If force it is going downward direction, then it will be take negative. If on upward force, it will be take positive value. Positive and downward it will be take negative. Okay. So first of all, apply the equilibrium equation. Summation of MA is equal to zero. Summation of MA is equal to zero. That means we need to calculate the reaction of the step one to find find reaction of B to find the reactions of B reactions of B reactions of B for that we need to apply equilibrium equation equilibrium equation so summation of MA is equal to 0 summation of MA is equal to 0 means algebraic sum of all the moment at A to B is equal to 0 is equal to 0 okay we will take moment of all the forces at A is equal to 0. Okay. So first of all, this UDL load convert it is in point four. Okay. So this one it is 10 kN per meter. So 10 into the what portion the UDL load it is acted up to 2 meter. So 10 into 2 it will be 20. Where it should be acted? 1 meter from the C. Okay. So this one it is 20 kN load it is acted. 20 kilometer load it is acted at the center of this C. So we have converted this UDL load it is in point load. That is 10 into 20. Sorry, 10 into 2 it will be 20 kilometer. So where it is acted, that distance, at what distance it will be acted, it will be acted. From C it will be from C it will be 1 meter. From the C it will be 1 meter. So this distance will be 1 meter. One minute. Okay. Then now summation MA is equal to zero. Okay. So algebraic sum of all the moment it will be zero. So this 20 kilonewton load it is how it is rotating this 20 kilonewton load. Just see. So this one it is momenting taking about the point A. It will be rotating in clockwise direction. Okay. So the direction it is in clockwise direction. Okay. So that's why force into per moment. Moment means force into per moment distance. That was 10 feet into distance from this load to A. So 20 kilonewton to A distance to the 2 meter. So then next force it is next force it is this reaction. This reaction RB. Okay. This one it is reaction RB. Reaction at A and reaction at B. So this reaction at RB, RB into this perpendicular distance. So RB why it will be taken minus because how it is rotating about the point A. So just see this will be rotating about the point A it is in anti-clockwise direction, okay, it will be rotating in anti-clockwise direction, okay, so it will be, if your point A will be rotating anti-clockwise direction, let's see, or it is rotating about the point A, it will be rotating, let's see, it will be rotation anti-clockwise direction, okay, anti-clockwise direction, okay, so that's why it will be minus, so RB into, perpendicular distance it is, total it is, 2 plus 2, 4 plus 1 will be 5 is equal to 0. Okay. So it will be a reaction. So Rb is equal to Rb is equal to Rb is equal to so 20 into 2 divided by 5. So it will be 8 kilometer. Rb is equal to 8 kilometer. 8 kilometer. 8 kilometer. 8 kilometer. 8 kilometer. Now apply second equilibrium equation that is summation of y is equal to 0. 
summation of y is equal to zero. Summation of f y is equal to zero. Summation of f y algebraic sum of all the vertical forces. Okay, maybe downward, it may be vertical. Maybe upward, it may be down. Okay, summation f y is equal to zero. So first it is array it is going upward, it will be positive. Then this point load it is going that is we have converted u del load to point load it will be twenty. It will be going downwards. That's why it is minus. Then R B it is going upward. R B is equal to zero. So known value it is R A R B. So R A unknown it is a R A minus twenty. Then R B it is known. We have calculated it is eight is equal to zero. So till we get R A is equal to reaction at A is equal to let's see minus twenty plus zero. So till we minus twenty. So till we get right side it will be positive. Okay. Eighty. Sorry, twelve kilo newton. Twelve kilo newton. This one it is reaction at E M, reaction at P. So we have calculated reaction at E M, reaction at P. So R A is equal to just write down R A is equal to it is twelve kilo newton, twelve kilo newton, and R B is equal to R B is equal to eight kilo. R B is equal to eight kilo. R B is equal to eight kilo. This one it is step one. We have calculated the reaction of this bit. Okay. Then second step, S F calculation. Okay. Do the S F calculation. Okay. So for S F calculation, for S F calculation, let's do S F calculation. The S F calculation for that. Step number two, S F calculation. S F calculation. S F calculation. S F that left top here. SF calculation. So SF at left of A, 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 SF at left of A is equal to zero. There is no any force of left side, so that's why it will be zero. Now SF at A, SF at A, so there is an upward force it is going. That is the reaction. It will be upward. SF at A is only twelve kilonewton. SF at A. So next, SF at left of C. SF at left of C. Left of C. At left of C, there is only one reaction that is going upward direction. That's why it will be twelve kilo. Twelve kilo newton. Okay. Then next, next. Now, SF at left of D. SF at left of D. SF at SF at left of D, left of D. Okay. SF at left of D or SF at D. Okay. SF at left of D is equal to now. So twelve kilo newton it is going upward direction. Well, then minus 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 this ten kilo newton is going downward direction. Ten into twenty. Sorry, ten into two into twenty kilo newton. It is going downward direction. That is twenty. It will be get ten minus twenty. Sorry, twelve minus twenty. It will be minus eight kilo. Minus eight kilo newton. Minus eight kilo. So S F at D it is also same. S F at D it is also S F at D it is also minus eight kilo. Minus eight kilo. Minus eight kilo newton. Then S F at left of B. S F at left of B. Left of B. S F at left of B. It is also minus eight kilometer. It is minus eight kilometer. Okay. There is only two forces. That is twelve minus twenty. It will be eight. S F at left of B. Now S F at B. S F at B. So this minus eight, minus eight, 
then that means R bit is going upward direction and plus 8 is equal to 0. Okay. This one it is SF calculation. So now draw the shape for diagram. Okay. Shape for diagram. By with the help of SF calculation. Okay. With the help of SF calculation. So just draw the points. So first draw neutral axis like this. So SF at left of 8 is 0. 8 is 0. Then SF at 8 will be 12 kilo. 12 kilo. SF at 8 is 12 kilo. 12. Well, then next SF at left of C it is also 12 kilo. SF at left of C it is also 12 kilo. 12 kilo. Then SF at left of D it is 12 minus 8 it will be minus 8 kilo. Minus 8 kilo it will become downward direction. SF at left of D is minus 8 kilo. So SF at left of D and at D it is also minus 8 kilo. So it will be same here. Okay. So then SF at left of D, left of D it is minus 8 kilo. Minus 8 kilo. Then SF at B it will be 0. Minus 8 plus 8 it will be 0. This one it is SF D diagram. Okay. SF D diagram. So this portion will be positive. This portion will be negative. Below the neutral axis, it is negative. Above the neutral axis, it is positive. Okay. This one it is SFD diagram. Just draw the edge line portion. SF diagram for that. Okay. Edge portion we will need to draw the shape for diagram. This distance it is 8 km. This distance it is 8 km. And this one it is also 8. Okay. So this one it is SFD. SFD in kilo newton. SFD in kilo newton. Okay. SFD in kilo newton. So now BM calculation. Take number 3. BM calculation. BM calculation. This one it is SF calculation. It is completed. Now it is BM calculation. BM calculation. Step number three, BM calculation. BM calculation. So BM at A will be zero. BM at A, it is bending moment at A is zero. And the beam it is only simply supported. There is no overhang. Okay. So BM at C, BM at C, BM at C. Force it is perpendicular. So force it is 12. Up to C it will be 1 meter. So it will be 12 kilo newton meter. 12 kilo newton meter. So how it is rotating about the C this force? It will be rotating about the C it will be clockwise direction. Okay. Here it will be rotating in clockwise direction. So that's why it is plus. Then next BM at D. BM at D. BM at D. BM at D. So BM at D. Force it will be 12 into this distance. 12 into 2 plus 1. Okay, up to D distance. So this distance A is here, it is D. So it will be how it is rotating this one. It is also clockwise direction. So that's why we at D. 12 into 12 into perpendicular distance it is up to D. It will be A to D distance it is 3 meter. A to D distance is 3 meter. Then Minus now this UDL load we are converted it is in point load. So it will be point load is 20 kN load. 20 kN load applied. So how what distance from up to D it is? So it will be at the center of this. And this one it is one meter from this. 
up to date, even one meter. Okay. That converted this UDL load, it is in point load, will be acted center of C to D. Because UDL load acted C to D, that's why it will be acted center of this C to D. Okay. So it will be why it will be minus because about the D, this list it will be rotating anti clockwise direction here. And it is rotating anti clockwise direction. So that's why it will be minus minus 20 into 20 into per minute distance it is 1. 20 into per minute distance is 1. So BM at D it will be get how much? BM at D. So 12 into 3, 12 into 3 minus 20 into 1. That will be 16 kilo newton meter. 16 kilo newton meter. 16 kilo newton meter. So BM at D. A BM at B actually it will be zero. Just we'll cross check at one second. BM at B, it will be force it will be 12 into per boundary distance. A to B distance it will be 1 plus 2 plus 2. It will be 5 meter. So how it is rotating? So this R8 is rotating about the A, it will be clockwise direction. Okay. So that's why 12 into 5. 12 into 5. 5. Then minus this 20 into 20 into up to here a so this 20 kilo newton to here see here this 20 kilo newton to this distance okay. this distance so how much this distance so up to d it will be 1 meter 1 plus d to b it will be 2 meter 1 2 plus 1 it will be 3 meter so 20 into 3 meter 3 meter okay. it will be get 0 Okay, 12 by the 60 and 20 into 3 will be 0. So bending moment at B will be hit 0. Okay. So now maximum bending moment. Maximum bending moment where it should be acted, where the shape force changes the sign. Here it will be maximum bending. So we need to calculate this distance. Okay. So just assume similar triangle. So this triangle and we can consider this triangle. Okay. So this distance it will be 8 kilometers. This distance it will be 8. Okay. And this it will be 12. 12. Okay. So we need to calculate this distance. We need to calculate this distance. That is, just assume this distance it is x. Just assume this distance it is x. And this distance, this distance, and so this distance it is total it will be 2 meter. So 2 minus x. So this distance it will be 2 minus x. By using similar triangle, just apply this. We need to calculate x distance. So x by 12, x by 12, x by 12, x by 12 is equal to is equal to x by 12. Then 2 minus x, 2 minus x divided by 8. 2 minus x divided by 8. By using similar triangle. Minus x divided by 8. 8. Okay. So we need to calculate the x distance here. Just to calculate. So 8 into x, 8x, 8x, 8x is equal to 12 in bracket 2 minus x. 2 minus x. Minus x to minus x. Okay. So x is equal to just simplify this equation. x is equal to x is equal to 12 to the 24. 24 minus 12x. 12x. Okay. Take x terms one side. Okay. So 8x plus 12x will be 20x. 20x. 24 divided by 20. Okay. We get 1.2 meter. X is equal to 1.2. X is equal to 1.2 meter. Maximum bending moment will be acted. X is equal to 1.2 meter. So 1.2 meter from which distance will be from C. 1.2 meter from C it will be acted. Maximum bending. Okay. Here yeah, 1.2. This distance will be 1.2. Maximum bending moment will be acted. 1.2 meter from C. Okay, 1.2 meter from C. Now we need to calculate B 
PM at maximum distance. Okay, Mx is equal to maximum radius. Mx is equal to Mx is equal to. So now we need to calculate maximum bending moment here. Okay, moment at this distance. Okay, so just see how much is it? So twelve force into per meter distance twelve into this distance one point two plus one three point two. So twelve into twelve into one point two plus one one point two plus one. So it will be two point two two point two. So how it is rotating? It will be rotating about this section. It will be clockwise direction. Then minus minus this ten into ten into so ten into one point ten into one point two. So this real load it is converted it is in point two, and it will be acted center of this one point two. Okay. Now think about only this. Yeah, maximum bending moment it is at here. Is distance okay? So one point sorry twelve into one plus one point two to be two point two. So this UDL load it is first converted is in point two. Okay. So ten to one point two, ten into one point two to be ten into one point two to be twelve kilo. So twelve kilo return will be acted center of this one point two. Center of this one point two means what distance from here? One point two divided by two. One point two divided by two. It will be 0 0.6. 1.2 divided by 2 it will be 0 0.6. 0 0.6. Okay, 0 0.6. That's why it will be into 0 0.6. 0 0.6. 0 0.6. First of all, we have converted this 10 into 1.2. It is point load converted. Then multiply by perpendicular distance. That is 0 0.6. So it will be about this axis. It will be rotating anti-clockwise direction. That's why it will be taken minus. Okay. So maximum bending moment it will be here. Yeah. 12 into 1.2, then minus 10 into 1.2 into 0.6. It will be 7.2 kilonewton meter. 7.2 kilonewton meter. 12 into 1.2 minus minus 10 into 1.2 into 0.6. Is seven point two kilonewton meter. Okay. So this calculation it will be twelve into two point two two point two minus ten into one point two into point six. It will be nineteen point two kilonewton. Nineteen point two kilonewton meter. Nineteen point two kilonewton meter. The so bending moment at maximum distance. Maximum maximum bending moment it is 19.2 km. 12 into 1.2 minus 10 into 1.2 into 0.6. You will get 19.2 km meter. Okay. So now we need to draw the bending moment diagram. Bending moment diagram. Draw the bending moment diagram. Bending moment diagram. First of all, draw. Maximum bending moment is here, one point two meter. Now, first of all, draw the neutral axis. Neutral axis. So now, BM at C will be twelve kilonewton meter. Bm at C to be twelve kilometer. It will be straight line. Twelve kilometer meter. Twelve kilometer meter. Then next Bm at twelve kilometer meter. Twelve kilometer. Then Bm at maximum distance. Maximum bending moment it will be here. One point two meter from the C. It will be curve. Why right? under the UDL load it will be draw the parabolic curve. 19.8 km. 19.2 km. 19.2 km. Then next BM at T. It is 16 km. BM at T. It is 16 km. It's 
Under the UDL load, you will withdraw the parabolic curve. 16 kilometer. So PM at D to be 0. Now we will draw the straight line. So under the UDL, we need to draw the parabolic, parabolic line. And without loading, that is point load, we will draw the straight line. So this one is positive. positive. Bending moment, it will be. Bending moment, it will be sagging type bend off. So that's why it will be positive. This one plus plus BMD kilo newton meter. BMD in kilo newton meter. BMD kilo newton meter. BMD in kilo newton meter. So why it will be plus plus bending moment? It will be bending sagging type bend off. Here, this foot is the two supported at the end. When you apply force on that thing, that will be bent sagging type of bend off. So we call this one it is sagging bend. Okay. So this bend we call it is sagging bend. So that's why we have taken care bending moment it will be positive. Okay. So this one it is SFD and BMD calculation and reaction of beam we are calculated here for given simply supported beam. Okay. 